Hello everyone, we will continue the topic conversion routine and in the previous video to understood the concept in module pool program, we created a module pool application and now we will see how conversion exit will behave here. So I will put a breakpoint in the PAI. I will run the program. I will right click on the program, execute in new window. Now I will give the input as one. If you remember, what is the name of this input? What is the name of this field we gave in the layout? Table name hyphen column name. And we binded it to data dictionary. It means, yes, this particular field has each and everything that is defined in the data dictionary. It means in that that field is referring to data element. Data element has a domain. Domain has a conversion routine. So each and everything is here. If I will go for submit, you can realize the importance now. I gave the input one, but because of conversion routine, the input converted to nine zeros and one. And in the table, yes, we have nine zeros and one. So whenever I will do F6, this query will execute successfully. You can see size sub RC0 and we have one record into this internal table. And from the internal table, we are passing it to work area. From the work area, we are binding it to screen fields. ER dat, ER ZDD, ER num, and we have the extracted result. And you can see, the importance if you are binding it to data dictionary if in the layout you are giving table name hyphen column name so each and everything is automatically binded to that variable and we have the expected result but yes variable name can be anything so many times people are comfortable with this way but many times people will not give table name hyphen column name. They will go by other way. So in that case, how conversion exit will behave? Suppose if I will go to layout. Now, rather than table name hyphen column name, suppose I will give LV underscore VBELN. Suppose I will delete this. I will again create a input output field. Now I will give the name suppose LV underscore VBELN. Now you can see no pop-up came to bind it to data dictionary. If I will double click, we do not have this from dictionary checkbox tick. We do not have a conversion routine. Suppose you are going by this way. This is also right. There is nothing wrong in this. Now I will close. Save. I will close the screen paint. I will now go for the logic. Now what is our input field now? Our input field is now, I will comment. I will not remove this logic. I will copy this logic. I will paste. Now, rather than table name hyphen column name, what is our input name now? Input variable name now. LV underscore VBEN. I will declare. Because now we need to declare also data LV underscore VBELN type data element. 
I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now I will show you the result, accepted result. Most important thing, and because of this, so many times we will not, we will see, we did everything, but why the output is not coming? I will execute in a new bit. Now I am giving one. Whenever I will give, the, when, now I give one, I will click on to submit button. Behind this, there is no conversion exit at all. There is no conversion routine. I'll go for submit. I'll go to desktop 3. Now, have you seen? 1 is 1 only. It is not 9 zeros 1. And whenever I will do F6, have you seen the value of size sub RC is 4? So, we will not get the result at all. Now, if I will go for F8, we do not have a output at all. And this is the major thing. Many people think we did everything correct. We have written the logic correct. But why, why we are not getting the expected output? So here, what is the solution? It's totally your wish how you want to go. One solution we already covered in the previous video also. Before passing the value, you can use the conversion routine conversion exit alpha input which we used in the previous program also. This conversion routine will add the zeros. So this is our input also. This is our output also. I'll check the syntax and I will activate it. So before fetching, we are adding zeros before that. If I will go to, if I will show you in that debugging mode. I will go for one. PAI called. So as of now, input is one. Whenever this function module will execute. Now this function module converted one to nine zeros one. We are fetching based upon that size sub RC zero data is in the internal table and we got the expected result. Now, now rather than this, we have one solution in the layout also. We have one solution in the layout also. What you can do? Suppose you do not want to go by this way. You can go to screens, layout, double click, and here itself use the conversion exit. What is the conversion exit? Just pass it here. What is the name of conversion exit or routine? Alpha. Pass. Now it is applicable. So no need to write the logic. In the layout itself, you can bind. I will close. I will save. And I will activate. Now, if I will show you in the debugging mode, I will put a breakpoint. Now I gave one, but one converted to what? Nine zeros one. Because in the layout itself, I binded it to conversion routine. Now, if I will execute, now you can see we have the expected result. So, what is the summary of these last two videos? If I will say we saw the importance of conversion routine in module pool program. Especially, I will say, whenever you are designing the screen element and you are going for input, yes, 
at that time if you are going for table name hyphen column name and if that if you are binding it to data dictionary yes if you are going for yes so if the conversion routine is there it will automatically be binded so there's no problem at all but if you are not going by table name hyphen column name no problem go for your own variable name but just check if there is a conversion routine there just pass that conversion routine in the layout itself or write the logic it is totally totally you wish so we saw the real importance of conversion routine an important concept and yes because of this many times we will not get the expected result so we need to take care for the conversion routine so that's it in this video thank you